morning. God, that's scary, isn't it? Bloody hell. <laughs> it's 5.42. Just made myself a cup of tea. And I'm going to take it back to bed and read for 20 minutes. I'm um, only up so early because William um, starts work at 6 at the quarry. And he woke me up this morning for the first time, to be fair. And it wasn't actually him waking me up. I was sort of awake already. Um... And it just, I think I would have dropped back to sleep, but I heard him up and about, so I got up, had a chat with him before we went to work, and made myself a cup of tea. And as I was up and about, I thought I might as well stay up and about, so to speak. So I'm going to drink my tea in bed, and um, thought I'd make a little bit of a daily vlog today. So, um, you've got something to watch on Sunday while I'm sunning myself on a Greek beach. Right, it's half seven. I'm up, showered, still wet hair and no makeup on, but I'm going to address that shortly. I realised last night when I was doing my packaging that I'd left this belt out. It had dropped onto the floor when I got the dress out of packaging. It's a dress with a belt. And the dress is already packaged, so I'm going to cut a slit in the packaging and um, just slide the belt in, is my plan. Not very efficiently, it seems. And then tape it. Doesn't need a big slit, does it? Mm, maybe slightly bigger than that. So it's, did I say it's half seven? I think I did. Um, I've been sitting at my desk and um, I wasted quite a lot of time this morning after I woke up and drank my tea and I played a bit of Candy Crush and watched a couple of YouTube videos and um, scrolled through social media a little bit. You know how it is. And then it was um, all of a sudden, at quarter to seven and time to get up. Anyway, um, I've made myself a list of stuff to do today. We go on holiday Friday. Um, we leave here about 10 o'clock in the morning. We're flying up from the local airport. Um, so we get some tape to do this. And um, Exeter Airport. Did I say that? Yes, we're flying from Exeter Airport. Anyway, we go on holiday on Friday morning. Uh, we leave here about 10 o'clock in the morning. And um, let me tape over this. There we are. Good as new. Perfect. Glad I saw that because I wouldn't have. Um, would have been problematic if the lady had got the dress and I was away for two weeks and unable to send the belt. Um, so yeah, sorry. Go on holiday f um, Friday morning, and I um, I usually try and leave the day before I go on holiday. Particularly if we're leaving leaving in the morning, I try and leave that completely free because there is always going to be things to do last minute that you don't think about, and so I try and get everything done in the days leading up to the day before. So Thursday tomorrow is completely free. Today is my last proper work day in the. Um, well, I'm saying that now. If I've got nothing to do tomorrow, I'll probably end up working. But, um, yeah, today is the last day that I intend to list on eBay. And um, to, to, I will be sending packages out tomorrow, obviously. And then just getting ready, changing all my listings to um, holiday mode and extending dispatch times and all that stuff tomorrow. So, yeah, I try and leave tomorrow free to do all the last minute bits and pieces. Um Today is quite a busy one. I'm having my nails done. I'm having acrylic nails put on, only short ones. I don't have great big long talons. Talons or talons? It's spelled talons, isn't it? I feel like it should be double L if it's talons, but I think it sounds better as talons. Anyway, I'm not having long nails. I'm just having short ones, but my nails are so crap at the moment that um, if, even despite taking the supplements and um, they started off quite well when I started taking the supplements but they've gone rubbish again they split and break all the time I'm not as good at wearing rubber gloves as I should be so I thought it'd just be nice to have nice nails and be able to paint them on holiday I don't like my hands very much my hands are quite wrinkled and uh, not great but just to have nice nails I only want to have them a pale colour so I'm going to have that done at 2.30 and um I've got to go and drop off my parcels this morning, fill the car up with petrol. My cleaning lady comes today, so I need to do a quick whiz round and make sure everything's tidy, ready for her to um, clean in a minute. And the builder is also going to be here all day today. He's doing the cladding on the outside of the office because um, the cladding arrived yesterday. It's really nice. It's white, um, fake wood, pl plastic cladding that all slots together, but um, looks like fake wood sort of... Um, 
boards you know and i'll show you later anyway um but yeah so he's doing that today um what else i've got a video to get live which is my top five possessions um i'm filming today's day in the life i need to do some laundry and that's the other thing with leaving tomorrow free because there's always always last bits of laundry that need doing before you go on holiday so although today's load is intended to be the last one i don't doubt there will be more to do tomorrow um got to package some parcels later um, I've got to print off all my holiday paperwork. Um, they did arrive yesterday. Actually, they came in. Um, tra we booked through travel counsellors and um, came in a very smart folder. And what does it say? Good. It's just an advertising thing about travel counsellors at a brochure. But we got his and hers matching fake leather travel wallets, which are rather nice. I don't need a travel wallet, but you know quite nice isn't it i suppose in this day of um, conspicuous consumption and everything they shouldn't really make these and give them away but um i just thought it was quite a nice touch really they're quite a nice sort of travel wallet you've got room for cards and paperwork and a little luggage tag and um yeah it's, it's quite a useful thing to have if you haven't got one i have actually got an osprey bag that i use but i could put that inside the osprey bag anyway i just wanted to show you those because they were nice and also got a little card from um travel agent saying thank you for booking on the front and um, to Caroline and Ashley have a wonderful holiday from Amanda who's the travel agent isn't that nice so I'm going to put that little card up on the top of my printer there and yeah I need to print off my holiday documentation I need to get the rest of my holidays um, clothes out I've got most of it out but then I need to narrow it down does anybody else do that when you're packing get everything out that you might want and then sort of narrow it down about um, we're going for 14 nights I haven't been on holiday for 14 nights for about five years so um I feel like I need more clothes than I normally take we normally go somewhere between seven and ten nights but um anyway yeah what else have I got to do nails pick up my prescription I've got some ironing to do I've got packing to do and um, I need to decide what's for dinner I want to use some stuff up out of the fridge oh also I just need to add on to the end of that list Tesco order to update I did a Tesco order for well he, he did half of it actually for his own stuff for um while we're away and um, I need to add some cat food onto it and some other bits and pieces so I must do that that's arriving tomorrow right that's quite a big list of stuff to do today so yeah I'm going to switch off um go and do some washing up throw all the stuff in William's floor onto his bed so the cleaner can at least clean in there because she won't be back for a couple of weeks because no point having you clean around when your son's in the house by himself because he's just going to mess it up <laughs> anyway right that was a long old ramble I'm turning you off and I'll come back to you a bit later it's 9 17 and I've just dropped off parcels at the parcel shop and I'm going to fill up the car with petrol does anybody else really hate filling their car up with petrol one of those jobs that I really don't like and I always leave it till it's literally about to run out on the red line the light is on <laughs> it's just oh god I'm so bunged up this morning I've got really bad hay fever it's been playing up all week I have taken a pill but um I think I said the other day I was trying not to take the pills so much because I found, found them so drying and woke up in the night with scratchy um throat but sorry i'm not driving like a nutter i am <laughs> was slowing down for a red light which is still red so i'm um, just taking the opportunity to blow my nose feeling like today's a bit of an uphill struggle i don't really know why it's um nine minutes past 11 i've just made myself a big big cup of coffee um my hay fever is really not good at all it's one of the worst it's been um one of the worst days i've had it this year so far so i'm feeling a bit sorry for myself with that getting through my listings very slowly today i think i'm going to do 20 drafts today and then upload 10 today and 10 tomorrow so there's a bit of activity on my account tomorrow as well um yeah to-do list isn't looking great is it three things crossed off oh right let's see if this cup of coffee perks me up at all 
very difficult to put you at an angle where we're not going to get sun issues. And also you're not high enough. Oh dear. Let's pop that down a little bit. That's better, isn't it? That's the blind. And see what else we can balance you on. Have we got a suitable thing to pop you on top of so you can be a bit taller? You're going to be at the wrong place in a minute anyway because I'm going over to the other side of the kitchen. But there we are. Oh. So it's now the next day, it's Thursday. Tomorrow we're going on holiday. Um, just to, I gave up vlogging yesterday. I just, ugh, was really struggling with hay fever and tiredness and it just didn't work. So I thought we'd retry today. Well, we're not retry, but I'm gonna put the, add this onto yesterday's footage is what I'm saying. So it's now half past nine on Thursday morning. It's another beautiful morning. Builders here, got people coming around to talk about windows at half ten. With me and Ashley, I think you've changed the windows at the front of the house because that's the next bit. Can't believe the day before we're on a holiday, we're still doing all this stuff. Um, anyway, God, I've got a runny nose. Um, yesterday, I went to Boots and I bought some hay fever tablets and some eye drops because I'd run out. And this morning, I went to find said hay fever tablets and eye drops um, in order to partake of them and I spent 20 minutes searching the house and could not find them anywhere. God knows what I've done with them. So I went back to Boots and I bought some more. So <laughs> it was just less stressful. I had to go to Boots anyway to get a prescription filled because when I get, went to pick it up from the chemist yesterday, they didn't have the right pills to fill the prescription. This is why I always leave an empty day or try to leave an empty day before I go on holiday because these things always happen, don't they? Um, yeah, so they didn't have the things. So I had to go to Boots anyway. So I went to, am I actually explaining any of this problem? They didn't have the right pills for the prescription. So I had to get the prescription back from them and go somewhere else. So I had to go to Boots. So I thought I'd just buy some more hay fever tablets because it's far less stressful than a search in the house and getting increasingly irate about it. Right, I must just take this. Right, I hope that works because I'm feeling really very snotty. Right, today, oh, I have my nails done. Even persuaded me to have a little um, bit of glitter on my ring finger. They're so nice, aren't they? I love when you have your nails done. However, oh, sorry, I've got itchy nose. Um, however, it takes me twice as long to do anything. I love having them done and they look lovely, but I've already nearly pinged one off to moving 80 litre plastic boxes full of stock around. Um, so I've got to be careful. And yeah, typing and everything is really hard. I find it difficult to type on the phone keyboard particularly. Anyway, they look nice, so that's good. Um, next job, I've just been to the parcel shop as well as going to Boots and getting my hay fever tablets. I'm going to wash up, I'm going to make the builder and myself a cup of coffee. I popped into Costa and thought I'd get myself a coffee. And there was a queue of about six people and I stood in it for over five minutes and it literally hadn't moved at all. So I lost interest and decided to come home and make myself one. Um, I very rarely have coffee out anywhere. I don't really like Costa or Starbucks coffee. I don't think it's nice. There's a couple of local independent coffee shops that do nice coffee, but I wasn't in the vicinity of those. Um, Anyway, that was a ramble, wasn't it? So we're going to do some packing later on. I've got to show you my new packing cubes that I'm really pleased with. Um, and in the meantime, I'm going to do some washing up, make coffee for me and the builder, and I'm gonna wash my makeup brushes. That's the job of the morning, or one of the jobs of this morning, because they all need doing. There's something very satisfying about clean, washed, fresh makeup brushes in the sun to dry. Just gonna leave them there for an hour to dry off. It's a job that I always put off because I don't enjoy doing it, but the result is always just somehow very satisfying. The builder is seriously impeding my vlogging this morning. I'm in my bedroom sort of packing and pottering about and wanting to vlog, and the builder is literally just outside there. In fact, you can see my new cladding on the back of the office. Look at how good that looks. So, so pleased with it. It's gonna go all the way around to the front of the house eventually. Um, anyway, I digress from what I'm supposed to be talking about. 
we're just packing today. Does anybody else take a notebook and pen on holiday with them? I always have a notebook and pen because I just, I so I have some of my best ideas on holiday. My hair looks awful today, by the way. Please excuse it. Um, it just is what it is. I will obviously be washing it before I go tomorrow. But I haven't the time or inclination to do my hair today. Um, yeah, notebook. I always like to take a notebook on holiday, and even better if it's a brand new one. And this is my holiday notebook and pen this year. Well, this time even. Um, I have great ideas on holiday. One of my favourite things about holiday is time to relax and reflect. I don't do enough sitting back and reflecting on stuff in my day-to-day -day life and I take holidays as an opportunity to do that and think about things, life type things and business type things and all YouTube stuff as well. I do a lot of YouTube planning and have ideas. And I, when your brain is relaxed and you know, chilled out and, you know, not full of the day-to-day to-do -day to lists and stuff, I think it gives your brain chance to be a little bit more creative and think about the bigger picture and stuff. And that's one of my favourite things about holidays. So I take my pen and notebook to write down all my fantastic ideas that I'm going to have. And unwittingly, I have matched my notebook to my holiday nails. <laughs> Right, let's look at my packing cubes. That's the next exciting thing. I have dipped in and out of packing cubes before. Um, when I say next exciting thing, obviously packing cubes aren't that exciting. I have dipped in and out of packing cubes before and I never really got the hype. I bought some cheapy ones from eBay and didn't love them. And I saw these, no, I read about these somewhere or saw them about six months ago. They're compression, compression packing cubes and I bought some a while ago and I've just started using them. I bought a set off Amazon. I'll um, link them below. They're about £20 for the set and basically this is what they look like. But the great thing about these, let me show you on a smaller one, is you pop your stuff into them and you have this zip that does them up and then you've got this other zip around the bottom that is a compression zip which basically squeezes all the air out so you can get more stuff in and that takes up less space it squeezes all the air out and makes the thing smaller this one here is all my underwear for two weeks away all of it that's quite impressive isn't it this one here is all my daytime clothes for two weeks away this one is pyjamas. This one is all my swimwear for two weeks away. Should I stop saying for two weeks away? Um, but yeah, in the set, you get those four. Also, they feel really well made. You, well, I was worried that because I'd sort of filled them so full that it would strain at the edges of the zips. But as you can see, there's no strain on the fabric at all. I'm really impressed with how well made they are. They're more expensive than your standard packing cubes. I don't know if I've said already, they were, I think, £21 for the set. And you got those four, plus just a plain drawstring bag, which I've given Ashley for his shoes, because he quite often gets dirty marks from his shoes onto his um, luggage. And, also, this other one, which I haven't used yet. I don't know quite what I use that for, but they are so good. I kind of wish I bought more. I'm really, really impressed with them. I'll show you once they're packed into the suitcase, but I'm definitely going to buy another set. They come in loads and loads of different colours, and you can get different formats as well, so you can buy just the big ones or just the small ones. Um, I quite like having a mixture of sizes. That quite work well, works quite well for me. But first experience of using these I'm an utter utter convert and I love the fact that everything is so organized into different things I su suddenly I get packing cubes I get the whole concept um, so yeah as soon as I get back from holiday I'm going to buy another set so next time because I've got all my evening clothes over here in this pile here and I would love to have those also in a packing cube or two packing cubes and then we've got shoes down here of course that's all the shoes I'm taking, plus the shoes I've got on, which is those, um, which is rather a lot, isn't it? But I feel like I might have overpacked slightly for this holiday, or not that I've packed yet, but um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to switch off, because I've got another couple of jobs to do, and come back to you when the actual packing process starts. Right, I've got stuff in the case. 
Here it is. I have to say it's looking fairly full. I've not weighed it yet. We've got a 20 kilo limit, which I think I might have gone over. But hey, um, I feel like these maybe don't enable you to pack as efficiently in terms of I'm an excellent packer getting stuff down the sides and hiding underwear and socks in shoes and stuff like that and I feel like I haven't utilised all the space as brilliantly as I could have done with these um, however I still love the concept of everything being so easy once you get to the other end all in bags in sections and yeah I really like that so hmm we shall see. I've still got the last few bits. I've still got electronic stuff. I've decided to take this big Timberland handbag as hand luggage. Normally I try and make do with my beach bag, but my beach bag is too small on this occasion. But this is giant and will fit my laptop. And um, yes, I am that person who takes their laptop on holiday. Unfortunately, when you work for yourself, there is no one to deal with the any incidents or issues that may arise from parcels not arriving while I'm away or stuff. So I do like to be able to just get on the computer for 10 minutes of the morning and, um, you know, deal with any issues that have arisen. I do it early in the morning. I get up way before Ashley anyway on holiday and um, sit on the balcony with my laptop, check my emails, deal with anything that needs dealing with and then put the laptop away for the rest of the day. So, um, yeah, that's what I thought. I need to take my laptop so that will fit in there and various other bits and pieces but now I'm having a packing break I'm going to make a coffee and I'm going to upload 10 eBay listings that I did the drafts for yesterday I just need to do some photos it's about one o'clock I think or half twelve and you can see by the state of my face how bad my hay fever is today I'm afraid I've decided to <sighs> call this a vlog here I just I don't feel like picking up the camera I want to go and take off my makeup and put a wet flannel on my face and um, yeah I really am suffering badly with hay fever today so I'm going to wrap this one up here I hope I've got enough footage for you to have a video on Sunday I'm pretty sure I have over the last two days even though it's a bit bitty and scattered um don't worry about me not that I'm sure you are anyway, it's only hay fever. But by the time you see this, I will be sunning myself on a lounger by the pool in Corfu and hay fever will be a distant memory of only a few days ago. <laughs> so there will be some videos while I'm away. I'm not sure exactly when, I'm not gonna hold myself to any sort of schedule, but I'm planning on doing some outfits and fashion posts of what I'm wearing in the evenings, perhaps a little bit in the daytimes as well. And there'll be the usual standard holiday vlog, what I do in a day on holiday, and perhaps some foodie stuff as well, I'm not sure yet, but um, there will be some videos at some point over the next couple of weeks. I hope you all have a lovely couple of weeks. If those of you have got kids, start looking forward to the summer holidays, and um, yeah, thanks very much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.